Hello listeners, I am Rahul Sethi, your host for Paytech Bytes. Welcome to our podcast series where we will explore the world of digital payments, current trends and the ecosystem as a whole in a bite-sized episode. And in today's episode, we'll be discussing Soundbox and UPI, simple innovation with a big impact. To help us gain a deeper insight, we've joined by Gulshan Kruti, Executive Vice President of India at Worldline. Gulshan, welcome to Paytech Bytes. Thanks, Tom. So Gulshan, in the early stage of UPI transactions, the only means of verifying a transaction for a merchant was through an SMS, right, which was coming from the bank, which posed a challenge specifically for a busy retail shopkeeper making them hesitant to adopt UPI due to a very cumbersome uh, you know, verification process. Today, as we delve into our daily lives, we encounter a familiar sound of payment verification from the Soundbox. Can you tell us how Soundboxes are solving this digital payment pain point? Uh, thanks, Saul. Uh, we have touched one of my favorite topic, Soundbox. See, well, thanks to UPI, actually the way payment industry has actually gone a sea change in the last three years. Mm-hmm. If if I recall my memory, within the last three years, uh, UPI has gone multi folds And today, India as a country, we're doing 35 crore transactions a day, which is like every third Indian doing a transaction every day, every day which yeah. is like huge. Mm-hmm. So initially, when the UPI started, it was always P2P, peer-to-peer transaction. You and me like transacting over the handphone. Thanks to some good uh, UIs given by different providers like GPay, Paytm, and everyone. Post Demon, I think the the real avatar of QR code came out of the picture, mm-hmm. and that's where P2P transactions started happening. Mm-hmm. So when this transaction happening uh, started happening, the tier two or tier three merchants or even tier four merchants got into the picture. They could never afford the bulky machines, which were costly and so that Obviously, QR code was the answer, but the problem was the way you said they used to the, the minute for UPI transfer you said only SMS alerts, which was not giving a comfort to the merchant, mm-hmm. and they're always hesitant to accept uh, the UPI transactions or even QR code transactions, and that's where Soundbox came as a trust. Mm-hmm. I would rather use Soundbox, uh, Soundbox as a trust form factor by or or not just calling by a Soundbox. This box has given a confidence to the merchant that by the simple voice alert, they're able to give a confirmation to themselves mm. that yes, the payment has been received yeah. immediately or T plus one. And that's how the sound box got to a level where it is today. India as a country, we are around 1.5 crores, 15 million sound boxes today. My belief is just the beginning of the sound box. Mm. The key reason is. Uh, one, the cost of the sound box, practically if you ask me, it's, it's nothing as compared to a traditional old boss. Is giving an instant payment to the merchant, that's where you know it's the trust factor which is which is coming to the picture. Yeah, I think that's a very interesting insight. So um so how do you think digital payments, specifically UPI, will grow in India through Soundbox? Soundbox is gonna act as a catalyst to UPI growth. It's low cost. Mm-hmm. Instant payment con- confirmation mm-hmm. are going to push the existing 200 plus UPI issuing banks to deploy more and more sound boxes. Mm-hmm. Banks are looking this now as a tool to get new casa mm-hmm. or to hold on to ex- existing casa accounts. Mm-hmm. Not only this, they are also looking this product more as a cross to cross sell other products. One of the, one of the key things is you no know, the loans mm-hmm. to tier three, tier four merchants. If my calculations goes right, this 1.5 crore sound box is today mm-hmm. should at least double in the next one year. We, by April 25, we should see this as three crore of sound boxes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, what are these? You know, some of the innovations you see in the sound box segment. See, the existing sound boxes are normal 4G, 2G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth enabled sound boxes. Standard uh, output of 90 plus dB sound output. But now we are seeing the dynamic sound box. The NSC sound box is already in pilot stage by Worldline itself. Mm. We are doing it for, for one of our large acquiring bank and should be able to deploy it by 1st of July. That's what the target date is and we are pretty hopeful we should be launched by 1st of July. 
I also see NFC sound box coming with the dip. In fact, the beta version of that sound box is also under testing by Worldline. Mm. The, the real fun of sound box will start happening once the integration of the dynamic sound box, dynamic QR sound box, yeah. starts happening with the merchant's billing system. That's where the merchant will will start liking it more and more. So very very insightful discussion, Josh. Uh, so what are your final thoughts? Would you like to share, you know, your any final comments with our listeners? Uh, see, Soundbox has been has actually built itself on the four main pillars. Those are UPI, the the massive banking infrastructure of of, of India, yeah. the four G networks. And yeah. I'll speak each of these four immediately. See the. In the UPI, the power of UPI is probably not only in India. Countries like Japan, UAE, even European countries like France, they welcome UPI yeah. as another form factor which is almost secure, reliable. The massive infrastructure of banking, mm-hmm. 200 plus banks of of India are already doing UPI. The 4G network, this will help almost all the banks to reach, reach the merchants of every nook and corner of India. Mm-hmm. And the last and the most important, the lady started. The sound box is actually becoming the bridge, the trust, the confidence factor, factor for the merchant who is receiving the payment. The another important factor which I see in future is where sound box will also become a revenue driver and which will impact to tier 4 merchants a lot. I'm sure the time is not very far when the banks or companies or NBFCs will start doing relevant advertising pertaining to their own categories yeah. and different things on Soundbox. Thanks for sharing your time and insights, Gulchan, on Soundbox. I'm sure the listeners will gather a lot of information here and insights from our discussion today. Uh, thank you for listening to this episode of Paytech Bytes. We hope you find the discussion on Soundbox and UPI simple innovation with a big impact insightful. To stay updated with the latest trends and developments, make sure to tune in to our upcoming episodes. We value your feedback and welcome your suggestions for future episodes. Thank you very much. Thanks.